everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is pretty much just a little bit of a chit chat, uh, just to come back and say, hey, how are y'all doing? Uh, I've got a bit of a haul. Uh, from a few different places, small hauls from each one, and I've got a few questions. So I thought I would come back and kind of just to say, hey, how are y'all doing? And uh, just touch base with you this week. Uh, I haven't gotten up into the guest room yet to, you know, kind of separate things out. And uh, maybe we'll do that later in the week or next week. I'm not sure, depending on what else my week, you know, ha what happens, what else happens in this week. So... Uh, I hope that everybody's okay. If you were in line of that uh, tropical storm that I'm gonna not even gonna try to pronounce because <laughs> I butcher it every time. Uh, it came through here through the night last night and this morning. It is now on to, you know, about 25 after one on Tuesday. I'm gonna try to get this video up this evening or tomorrow morning. Uh, so the uh, tropical storm came through here, went right through our area. We were under a tropical storm warning. We had some high winds and very, very heavy rain. But as far as I know, we, we fared okay. Our, our property is fine. Patio's fine. Everything's fine. Chris always, you know, battens down the hatches and whatnot. But we really didn't have to do too much. This is, was actually kind of a mild uh, storm compared to others that have blown through here. I mean, we do get affected by some hurricanes sometimes, y'all. So, uh, but this one wasn't too bad just being a tropical storm. And I hope that all of you fared okay and that nobody got hurt and that all your property is okay. I've been thinking about you up and down the East Coast here. So, hopefully you're doing okay. And by the time you see this, hopefully that tropical storm will be gone and off of the East Coast and gone out to sea. So, fingers crossed anyway. But okay, let's see. Let's get started with uh, my hauls. I want to do that first, and then we'll go into the questions. And Yesterday, Chris and I took a trip over to the Country Treasures store over in Harrisonburg, Virginia, just for something to do, just to get out for a little bit. Uh, and I did not buy much at all, y'all, in there. My tastes have really gone away from the primitive country, and they've got a lot of primitive country. For those of you who decorate with primitive country or even a you know, uh, any kind of country, that is the store for you. If you live in the area, I highly recommend that you take a trip to Harrisonburg, Virginia to Country Treasures. It is an awesome store, beautiful store, wonderful people work there, just absolutely wonderful. Uh, so, but I wanna show you what I did pick up. Uh, like I said, which wasn't much. It's just this little bag full <laughs> and that's it. Uh, first thing, they had this on 50% off sale, which I thought was really pretty. It's just like a spool light. And I didn't, I don't know what color this is when it's plugged in, but uh, I'll probably put a cream candle in there. Uh, but it's really pretty. And I, it, it was 50% off of, why don't I try to find my glasses instead of trying to make myself go blind. Of course I've got glasses where I cannot reach them, right over there. I'll be right back and I'm gonna run and get my tea. So I'll be right back in just a second. this over to the island to plug it in with this in and look I mean this has probably been sitting in their store for a long time it's broken so I probably wouldn't have used this anyway but it doesn't you know anyway I'm gonna hush I won't say anything but anyway I've got uh, I've got other silicone bulbs that I can put in there so I will probably just put one of my own bulbs in I don't know where I'm gonna put it 
yet, but it sure is pretty. It's kind of a light blue. It looks kind of telescoping gray, but it is really a blue. And it's super pretty, just a little spool lamp. And it was half off of $30, so I paid $15 for this, which isn't bad. Shucks, the, if, the, if the light bulb, this is a silicone bulb, and these puppies can cost about 5 or $6 by themselves. So it was sold with this, and I'm sure they didn't know that it was broken. So, But anyway, I got that. I thought it was cute, and I will you know, incorporated at some point. You guys will see it, I'm sure. <laughs> so I got that and then I picked up this. A little sunshine can put, what does it say? <laughs> I can't read backwards. A little kindness can put, I knew it had sunshine in it somewhere. <laughs> oh boy. A little kindness can put a burst of sunshine in someone's day. <laughs> And I thought that was pretty. And it matches, you'll notice the black, I've got, I've got a theme going on here, the black with the creamy to almost uh, a yellowy kind of writing. So I'm not sure where this will go. Maybe in the future in my dough bowl here on this table or up on a shelf or, you know, who knows. But anyway, I paid $8.99 for this. And then they had a little section set up for, I mean a little section, with some blue and white stuff. They had a crock and they had a little, um, it looked to be like a planter, planter, you know. And then I couldn't resist this. I thought this was super cute. So I bought this, just a little, like a little pitcher type thing which I love. And you know, they had a, a little doily hanging out of this, like a crochet doily, which I have some of those somewhere. I'd have to search and find. But I thought I might display it like that instead of putting more flowers out. I've got so many flowers. That's another thing I did last night. I might take you over and show you what I did. I took my one cozy corner that's in my living room and I deconstructed it a little bit. I put away a lantern and I put away, I moved the big flower arrangement that I had there. It was just, I was sitting there last night and it just came over me, sitting in the chair that I, and I can see that every night. And it just came over like, oh, that's just too that's much for me tonight. As I'm sitting here looking at it, it's just too much. So I got up, I walked over there. Chris said, what are you doing? I said, I'm doing a little tweaking. I'm doing just a little tweaking. And he says, you're always tweaking. <laughs> I said, I am, I'm always tweaking, you know, so. I'll take you over there and show you what I did over there. Not a big deal. I took it down in decor a lot. I, I, you know, I've also got in my mind that I'm going to be decorating for fall and trying to, you know, streamline things a bit so that I don't have so much work to do. So anyway, that's not, I didn't even have that conscious thought when I did that last night. I just jumped up and did it because I just felt the, felt the urge to do it. So anyway, this will go somewhere, which I think is really cute. And maybe if I can find one of those little crochet doilies, I'll just, Put it right over the lip like they had it you know that's why i like going in stores like that too it gives me some ideas i usually don't look past this you know for ideas too much but i like that idea i like what they did okay so that was it that's all i got from country treasures can you believe it that is all i got i couldn't find anything i did have some placemats in my hand at one point uh, and I'm like, what are you doing, Arlen? You're like a hoarder when it comes to these, you know, table runners and, and placemats and all that kind of stuff. I do not need any more of that kind of stuff, you guys. Honest to Pete, I don't through any of the seasons. So I, uh, Chris says, are you about ready to go? And I said, yeah, I gotta go put these back. He said, you don't want those? I said, I don't want those. I said, I don't need them. I don't want them. I, and you know, I really, I really didn't need them. So I put them back. And so I ended up, that's all I got. So, I ended up spending $25 for me to go an hour and a half away and do a little shopping. That's not bad, you know. Then we did stop. There is a Plow and Hearth outlet. Actually, it's, um, you know, I don't even know what it's called. It's kind of their, uh, their distribution kind of center is close to there. Uh, and this, the, they have two stores at this location one is new stuff and that's what i'm gonna I, I'm, I bought flags you guys like i need more flags but i saw these and i was like these are so cute 
but they also have another store in the same location that uh, the lady there, the cashier there told me yesterday is where all of their returns go to. A lot of their returns and they've just made up a store to take care of their returns. So Chris and I didn't even walk in there yesterday. Um, we, so we walked, ran in the, this store real quick. Chris was looking for another shepherd's hook. Uh, he's been, we have hummingbirds that are going crazy. I saw Liz's uh, video last week where she showed her hummingbird coming to her camera. We've got hummingbirds all over the place and he's got a feeder in the back. And here we go with the squirrel again. The squirrel has come again today. But just to tell you, for those that might not know, apparently hummingbirds are very bullish. I mean, they can get one bully, we call him our bully bird, B-U-L-L-Y, bully bird. So Chris, this bird, this one hummingbird was knocking all the others off and not letting anybody come and get a drink, you know? And so he went out and bought two more hummingbird feeders. Well, don't you know that each, and he put them out in the front flower beds. Well, don't you know that each of those feeders now has a bully bird of their own? And that just must be the way they run things. And those birds will sit and perch themselves, the, the bullies will perch themselves on top of the, the shepherd hooks and, and just watch. And you can see them just watch. I said, my land, they've got to be exhausted by the end of the day, you know, just from, you know, taking care of them, knocking all these other poor little birds off. So... But anyway, story of my hummingbird. So he was, he went in to go in and stop there and look for a shepherd's hook, which we couldn't find. So, but anyway, plow and hearth. Uh, lovely, and it's over, uh, I don't know what the town is called. It's near Madison, Virginia, past Madison, going west. Uh, but they're nice stores. I mean, they're, they're fun to walk around in. So I just picked myself up a couple of, of fall flags. Isn't that pretty? This is a garden flag. Uh, from Evergreen. So I thought that was super pretty. I've got three uh, garden flag stands stuck in two in the front flower bed and one in the back. So I'm always looking for garden flags, you know, for a good price. This was $11.95 for this. And then I got this big flag, which I thought was super, I'm not gonna take it out, but look at that. Is that not super pretty? And it matches, kind of matches this. So, kind of be partners. So, all of my uh, outdoor fall decor is in the traditional, you know, rich colors of fall. And here will be blue and burnt orange, pretty much. But outside, I do the all traditional colors of fall. So, okay. So, that's it. That's all I got from there. Oh, the flag was 20... $24.95, which is really good. As I said in my other one, when I was talking about the flags I got from, from uh, Williamsburg, these flags used to be so much more expensive. I don't think they're going out of style. I see, you know, maybe that's why they're cheaper. They're going out of style. Well, I still use them. I don't know. I think it really adds to the front of the house, you know, to have put some flags out and it brings in the season. It helps to bring in the season. And I think it's super pretty. So, but anyway, uh, we made one more stop on the way home real quick because I knew exactly what I wanted. It wasn't just to browse. It was for me to run in and get something. I have been tweaking the tops of my cabinets. You can kind of see, you can see there uh, that I put a new lantern there. And I'll take my camera down at the end and I'll show you around. But I put, that's the lantern I got from... Kirkland's. I had ordered it from curbside pickup a couple of months ago and I hadn't used it yet. It's a cream colored lantern, wooden lantern with black edging. You can see in a black top and I put two candles in there. I had two red lanterns there. I took the red down and I replaced it with that. And then over here, you can see I added a bowl and moved this over to toward the edge family the sign there that was red or that was a burgundy. I took that down and added the bowl kind of an oval bowl and this flower arrangement. So now, and this is the, the corner cabinet on the other side, and there's also cabinets that are over, kind of over here, that I'm going to be putting, let me show you, two of these milk glass, let me turn my light out for a second, milk glass vases. I'm gonna to talk to my light. Alexa, turn kitchen table light off. Okay. 
There we go. So I bought two of these and I'm going to put them up on this side. I had, I had replaced one sign with uh, Gather Together or something up there that has a white or creamy white front to it. And I wanted to bring more of the white cottagey style, if you will, over to this side. And that's the last little place that needed a little bit of white brought in. So I bought two of these. Aren't they pretty? And these are, these were $15 a piece, you guys. And I don't know. Alexa, turn on kitchen table light. Okay. There's no writing on this, but this looks like milk glass that has like the grape uh, leaves and ivy leaves, grape and ivy leaves. That's kind of what it looks like. So, I, you know, again, I don't know whether this is truly milk glass or not, but they are super pretty and they're heavy like milk glass. So I thought these would be really pretty up there. So all I'm going to do, let me put my camera down a little bit here. All I'm going to do with these literally is I'm going to put one like tuff of ivy in each one. Okay. And then remember these, I got just some hydrangeas from Amazon and I just want one in each. Just want to put, you can see which end to use to. Oops, sorry. And then it just simply slips in, just like that. And I'm gonna slip this down, just like that. And remember, you're gonna be looking up at these. So I'm kind of making it so it'll look good from the bottom. They're gonna be sitting next to one another, one up higher than the other. So I will tweak them when I get them up there. I think it'll be pretty up there. Okay, so I got those two vases. And then I got a little candy dish. <laughs> and this was on sale for 50% off. So I spent $15 for each of those and I think 15 for this. So, and it was, and this is definitely hobnail milk glass. So heavy is heavy, heavy, heavy. Both all th three of these pieces are very heavy. So we stopped in there real quick. I knew I wanted all three of those pieces because I had seen them the week before. And I was waiting until I got paid and I went back and thankfully all three pieces were still there and I bought them and got that done. So I'm real happy with those three pieces. This I'll use, you know, as a candy dish, obviously. I'm not gonna use this for decor. I'm gonna use this literally to eat, you know, to put candy in or nuts or something, you know. It's pretty. So that so, is all that we did yesterday. Uh, so uh, I have just a few more things to show you, but this is this is all to do with Barbing Dawn coming and what I'm, you know, what I'm still doing to that room or planning to do to that room upstairs to their room where they're going to be sleeping. <clears throat> I went into Home Goods and I actually went in looking for fall decor and again they didn't have any and I, it's just i told chris it's the lord tapping me on the shoulder going arlene you don't need any more fall decor quit looking <laughs> so i think i might need to heed his his uh, advice and quit looking you know so but i but in my tootling around in there i did find something that i want to use for a hamper for up there like i said they're going to be here for a whole week and you know the the uh basket I got from Amazon is a little bigger than this that I keep the four big bath sheets in for their towels. Uh, so I bought this and this is kind of a gray and which uh, the, the room is purple and gray. I've got, or silvery gray. I've got silvery gray curtains up in there. So I thought this would be super pretty for them to use as a hamper. Cause like I said, they're going to be here a week. So I also, in my little travels around home goods, I got some poofs, you know, that I'll put in the care package. And um, I'm sure Don will really appreciate the pink poof. Don't you think? <laughs> they didn't have any other colors. So I actually thought this was, this is one poof. I thought it was like four, but it's not. Does it say on here? Oh, it just says dumb, jumbo dual texture bath sponges. <laughs> 
Well, whatever. He can use a pink poof if he wants to. <laughs> so, bought those, and uh, they were not expensive, I don't think. $3.99 for those, you know. The basket was $20. The basket was $20. And then I got some hangers because the I use these hangers in my closet, you guys. I have all of my tops and everything on these hangers. Not my bottoms. I use pants hangers for my for my capris and my pants and my skirts. You know, I use pants hangers. But for all my tops, all my sweaters, I use these velvet hangers. One, they don't take up as much room as the plastic hangers do. And two, I'm a big girl, and sometimes some of the shirts I have will slide off of those plastic hangers if they don't have like a little divot in it, you know? So everything stays on these, these beautifully, and you can also, you know, put more in your closet because they don't take up as much room. So I bought 25 of these. And I'm gonna put some in each bedroom closet upstairs because I didn't have any for upstairs. So I had taken some upstairs for my dad last year and dad says, I like the plastic hangers. <laughs> so their closet will have some plastic hangers and some of these hangers because I just, I really like these. And I thought that I would provide them in the bedrooms for those who might want to unpack. And then I got a little trash can. I've got one trash can for out in the bedroom part, but I wanted one for in the bathroom. So I got just, uh, it's like a, it's metal, but it looks kind of uh, like marbly looking, but it is metal. And it was $9.99 for that. Did I say how much the, the hangers were? Oh, $9.99 for the hangers too, which is a good price for those. Oh. And then one more thing. I got a little toothbrush holder for up on the sink. The one I have up there is old and I can't get clean. So I'll disinfect this and wash it up real nice and have that up there for them, for their toothbrushes. So that's it. That's all I got from Home Goods. And not a lick of fall. I mean, not even a pillow, not a throw, not a pumpkin. One was there in Home Goods. I was like, because that uh, that's where I got my blue, my blue and white pumpkins last year. And I thought, well, certainly if they had those last year, they may, maybe they'll get more because they kept selling out of those last year, you know? So we'll see, you know, I'll keep an eye on that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I just, I just love the blue and white. And I love how that worked out last year. And I knew I had it spread out pretty well last year because I couldn't find a lot of it. So I'm working on collecting a little bit of that. So, but anyway, so that does it for my shopping haul. You know, like I said, it was just a little bit of this and a little bit of that from each place. So let me pull up my computer here. Let me get a drink a little bit here. I'm a little dry. Three questions. And then, uh, well, I've got four questions and then one shout out to a nice little lady here that asked me if I would say hi to her mom. So I'll do that. Okay. So number one is from Donna Bowen. Uh, do you do a manicure each time you change your nail color? I do not. I, I, I do my mini manicure. I guess I could say that. I don't, I don't soak my hands. I don't, you know, I don't trim up the cuticles like they do like in a shop or anything like that. I do take a cuticle remover lotion and I dab, I take the polish off first and then I dab the cuticle uh, lotion on and I rub it in to and let it sit and then you wash it off and uh, then I push back all my cuticles and then I buff all my nails and I shape them and that's about it. I do use oil, uh, then I paint and then I use oil around the cuticles. And I usually only do that once a week. I know you're supposed to do it every day, but I only do it like once a week. I do a lot of hand cream during the week though, because I'm, as y'all are, I'm sure washing my hands all the time, all the time. That's all I do. That's all I feel like I do is wash my hands, you know? So I really should use the, the oil, but uh, I only put the oil on there and then I put a nice lotion on. And that's it. That's how I do my manicures, but, uh, or, how I change my nail color, I should put it that way. I really don't do a, a manicure, so to speak. 
you know, like they do in shops. But I do take care of them. I do take good care of them, and I do make sure that the cuticles are kept back and, you know, trimmed if they need to be. But because I do it once every other week, they really don't get nasty too much. So, yeah, but that's it. So, thank you for that question, Donna. <laughs> okay, number two is from Christine. Hello, oh, I'm gonna butcher your name. Uh, Levesque, maybe? Uh, Arlen, when are you traveling again on your next cruise and where are you going? Uh, well, we were supposed to go on a cruise in November. And Chris and I ended up, well, Princess has canceled everything through December the 15th. So our, that cruise would have been canceled anyway, but we had decided to go ahead and cancel it just because things with COVID are still so much up in the air. Please let's not have a conversation about COVID, by the way, in the comments. I don't, I don't allow any kind of negative or positive or whatever comment. We don't need to, even need to go there. I'm just telling you the facts of the situation were that Cruising is not up and running again, you know, and so Princess canceled that cruise. So we were going to do a 10-day, we were supposed to do a Canadian Provinces five-day cruise. That got canceled months ago, and then uh, we were going to stay on the same ship, one of their new ships, the Sky Princess, and we were going to stay on that ship and cruise down into the Caribbean. And it was only like a four-port cruise out of 10 days. It was, it was very uh, sea day heavy. Uh, but, and then end up in Fort Lauderdale, but we ended up canceling that a week before Princess went ahead and canceled everything through December the 15th. Uh, I, we canceled it because, as I said, COVID is still so much up in the air, and I, that's getting, we were not going to be getting home till the week of Thanksgiving, and that was going to be way too close to Thanksgiving. It wouldn't give us time to quarantine once we got home if we needed to. And with the baby coming or us going to them and my dad and stuff, no, we, it, was, it was just too much of a chance for us. So we are not doing that cruise now. So the cruise after that will be next summer. To guess where? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. <laughs> we are going to Alaska. Yeah, north to Alaska, you know. But we'll be going to Alaska again. And uh, we'll be traveling actually with Barb and Dawn, and then we'll be traveling also with Pam, my travel agent, and her hubby, and uh, some other people that I know too. So we're gonna have a big time in Alaska. Yay! Woohoo! My favorite place on the planet to cruise, I'm telling you, or to visit. I love Alaska, you guys, you know that. Y'all know that. So that's it, that's what we're doing and where we're going. And uh, I don't know, we still have those cruises in the queue. Everything is still up and running for those. So we'll things see how things go. Hopefully we'll be able to do that, you know. Okay, number three is from uh, Sally Stout. Uh, Ms. Arlene, where did you get that beautiful red and white striped ribbon? That would be perfect for my old fashioned Christmas wreath. I did answer her in, in her in underneath this question but i also wanted to say is it, what she's talking about is red and white ticking ribbon uh, and i know, and I know of two places where you can get that one is at with bobby over there at perpetualribbons.com and then if for some reason she's out of it uh because i know that you guys love her and if, you know let me step back here for a second the other one is craftoutlet.com so i wanted to say that they sometimes have it sometimes they don't um, Bobby is more, probably has it. Uh, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for, for supporting Bobby and for helping her out. Isn't she just a doll? A lot of you to have told me that you've been talking to her on the phone and that, you know, she is a doll. She is just a doll. Such, such an easy lady to work with. So sweet. I actually have a perpetual ribbons order that I ordered this time coming. So I'll let y'all in. I'll let y'all see that when it whenever it comes. So, but that's where I got that from perpetualribbons.com, and you can just put in a search there, search for red ticking or red and white, and it'll come up there at perpetualribbons.com. And again, if she doesn't have it, then craftoutlet.com. I very rarely see red ticking in like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, maybe at Christmas time, but not very often. So I do usually have to order the ticking. Anytime I get blue and white or, or red and white ticking, I've usually ordered it from somewhere. So 
Thank you for that question, Sally. <laughs> okay, number four, here we go with the shout out. <laughs> uh, number four is from Marlene Howe Eichhorn. She said, mom is 85 and loves your program. Her name is Ada. We, are, we both enjoy watching you. If you ever get the chance, can you say hello to her? If not, that's okay. I have learned how to make the funky bows from you. I sure wish we have had a Christmas tree shop here in Arizona. By the way, it was 118 degrees here today. Ugh, we're melting. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Then I had writ written her back and said, of course I will give Ada a shout out. And she said... Oh, mom will get the biggest kick out of that. She watches all of your programs. Mom broke both of her hips this year, the first one in January and then the opposite hip in May. She is a fighter, though, and still keeps busy. We're best friends, and I'm so fortunate and blessed to have her. Thank you for making our day when we watch your program. You are, super duper, you are a super-duper special lady. <laughs> well, Marlene, you are so sweet. Oh, my goodness. But I will definitely give Ada a shout-out. Hi, Ada. How are you doing, honey? I'm so sorry to hear about your, uh, uh, what did she say? Both your hips, for goodness sakes, girl. Oh, my goodness. I'm probably going to need a hip replacement one of these years myself. So, bless your heart. I'm so sorry you've had to have had to have them both replaced. But thank you so much. And Marlene, too, thank you so much for, for watching and for supporting me. And i very much appreciate you both everybody i appreciate everybody who watches and everybody who supports so but thank you so much ada a little shout out for you Mwah. love you honey <laughs> and then i have one more comment from bobby bobby from perpetual ribbons i had put up uh, an album of my Christmas in July, you know, well, everybody in my Facebook group was putting up their albums of Christmas in July in July. And Bobby looked through the album, bless her heart. And she said, she left me the sweetest comment and then asked me a question. So I do want to answer her question because maybe some of you have thought about this too. I don't know, but uh, she said, Arlene, I love everything you do. Your decorating style is always on point. Fancy comes to mind. She calls me Fancy. That, that's her nickname for me is Fancy. Bless her heart. <laughs> uh, she said, were you born with this talent or did you learn it for an, from another family member? Thanks for sharing so much of yourself to so many people. Thank you so much, Bobby. You know I love you to pieces, girl. Uh, and I, I guess I was bored with this talent. I always say that, you know, whatever y'all deem to be talent or whatever I've, I've gotten as a gift from, from the Lord. And I really believe that is true. And uh, my final words, I also believe were gifted to me, you know, so I could give them to you or to that one person who needs them every time I say my final words. And that's the truth, you guys. That's the honesty. I never pull the wool over your eyes. I never say things that are not true. I'm telling you right now. I do want to mention, though, that my family is is a talented bunch of people, honestly. I mean, every one of us pretty much has something that we can do. So I'm no more special. I don't feel like I'm more special than anybody on the planet, first of all. Let me make that perfectly clear. And second of all, I'm no better than anybody else or more talented than anybody else in my family, those that I know around me. All of us have something that we can do, you know? I'm talking about my, 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 my husband and my children, definitely. Chris is a, is a genius. He's very talented. He is a um, multi -ta He can fix anything known to man. He is a, a, a math genius. He is an amazing man. <laughs> Sorry. My children are very, have excelled in their jobs and are very, very good at what they do. And none of us can call, we, we are, none of us are uh, underachievers. <laughs> You know, we're all kind of overachievers. Uh, but also, my extended family, on my dad's side of the family especially, uh, my mom's side too, I have two male cousins who are very talented in their, in their what they do and so on. But as far as uh, creativity and that kind of thing goes, um, all of the people, are all of my cousins and my aunts and uncles and whatever on my dad's side of the family are very musically inclined especially. We all sing, a lot of us play instruments. I play 
badly nowadays, I'm sure, clarinet. Uh, I can play by ear. I can read notes, but I play by ear a lot. Uh, uh, you know, my dad is a star athlete, uh, could have become pro, could have, could have been a pro golfer, <laughs> still could be at 84 years of age, I'm not even kidding you, was in the Hall of Fame in his high school, or in his college uh, for basketball, he was a basketball star, uh, he, you know, all, all of his brothers and he sing, would sing and they would travel from church to church as young men <clears throat> and sing and play their instruments, you know, and, and the rest of my family, they, you know, when we all get together, we can, we all sing and, you know, somebody can do something, you know, and, uh, Stacy, for instance, sings like an angel, uh, like an angel. I'm telling you, she does. And she's also a great cook. She, uh, decorates beautifully. She does her cricket like nobody I know can do a cricket in all of her, you know, all of you've seen some of the stuff she's done here. So, you know, I would say that I come from a, a, a family of, I don't want to say gifted, but of maybe blessed in that way. I don't, you know, I never want to make us seem like anybody's better than anybody. And I don't feel that. I don't feel that inside. Uh, but it's true, everybody has kind of a talent, you know? And we don't talk about it, it's nothing that we utter. We don't even talk about it, it just is. You know what I mean? And I had to sit back and think about what you asked, Bobby. And I said, well, when I think about it, this one can do that, and that one can do this, and this one does this, and that one does this, and da-da-da, you know? And when I think about it, yes, I did come from a, a family of create, creative people, you know? Uh, but I believe we're all blessed and I believe we're all, we've all been gifted, not are gifted, have been gifted. And we use it for good, all of us. I will say that, all of us use it for good. And that is important. I think, I think that's important, you know. And that's why when I hear that little voice, you know, or when I feel that nudge, you're daggone right. I'm going to pay attention to it and I'm going to go that direction. You know what I mean? So anyway, so that's it. Um, I hope that answered your question more. I did answer her in the group there. I did answer her question, but I hope if she sees me talking about it, she'll, she'll understand what I was talking about a little bit more. So, but anyway, that's it. You guys, that's all I have for you today. Oh, I got Kristen texting. She's doing all of her professional development stuff today at school. They are going to be opening school in her county uh, part part of the day, part of the week. Uh, but she said she was willing to, to teach in person, so she's going to be doing, anyway, regardless, she's doing all kinds of professional development that she's really thrilled with, I can tell you. <laughs> so... But anyway, let me take my camera down. I'm going to run on over here and show you what I did. Like I told you in the, in the living room, I'll show you that. And then Chris is out and about. He's doing stuff out in the yard. So when he comes in, I'll ask him to get up on a ladder and put these vases into place. And then I'll show you a, either a f picture or a final video of that. So I may come back with that bedroom. Uh, may not be to the weekend or early next week, though, with that to show you what I've done up there. Uh, but I do want to show you that. So, and show you the final product and how the room looks and, you know, everything cleaned out and all ready to go for them, you know. So, uh, all right, let me go into my final words and do that while I'm looking at you, as I always do. So, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all, to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. So while I'm looking at you, don't go away though, because you know we'll go and look at the kitchen and out in the living room. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.
Okie dokie, here I am over here in my kitchen. Let me give you back up and show you exactly where I am in my kitchen. Here's the island, there's the cooktop, and then there's the two vases that I just showed you. And I added some white to them. You can see the white flouncy flowers, added some white to them. And I am going to put them up here in place of the daisies. I'm gonna put one up higher than the other. I'm gonna follow the ceiling line and do like, you know, them in a tiered fashion up there, which will pull the white over from this side and it'll pull white over into this side of the kitchen. So uh, I wanted to show you too, I got that, see a little bird lamp up there? Let's see if I can get it to zoom in for you, there you go. I found that and I put it up there, Chris put it into place with me, for me really quick, at Home Goods too, that was like $20. So I replaced a burgundy lamp, metal lamp, that I had up there with that. And then I put back here, you can see that right there. Let me see if I can see that right there. I added one there and that, let me zoom in. It's just one of those like, I don't even know what you call that things that I got from, I believe I got that when I was in Nashville last year, Trees and Trends. I think that's where I got that. And I got two of them, and the other one I put over here. You can see it right there. And then let me back off of this a little bit. And you can see the little oval, oval bowl like I was showing you, and then I moved this vase over toward the edge and I think that that really brought in more of the cottage feel up there too, kind of lighter and brighter and airier. To go with my curtains, sorry about the sunlight, goodness gracious, and everything. So I will take a final picture when I get the vases into place, and I think you'll be able to see See how that's, that is pulling my eye because it seems like a dark hole right there. It needs something lighter there. So I think those vases will fill in that spot beautifully. All right, let me walk out here to get all the stuff to go upstairs. This is a vase I had back in a corner of the living room and I replaced it with the big vase of flowers. I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna put this upstairs somewhere, maybe in the turquoise room or maybe I'm gonna replace a lantern and put that thing on the table between the two fancy chairs I have up there. I'm not sure if that'll be too big for that or I might set it in front of it, we'll see. I'll show you that another day. But uh, let me show you the chairs I'm talking about upstairs. You can look at them here and see that big table. And I have a lantern sitting on it right now. So I'm thinking about putting that either on top of that or in front of that table some way up there. But here is what I did to this little, <laughs> this little area here. I just really took it down in decor. I had a bird hanging there. I took it down a metal bird. And then I had this big vase of flowers that I have over there in the corner. I had it up snugged where I have the two-tier tray. Bella D Designs, by the way, sent me that two-tier tray. It's lovely. You can check that out at her channel there. So, or her website there, she sells those. It's really nicely made. So I just kind of took it down and decor quieted it down in this corner a little bit. Just always tweaking. Oh, my mother-in-law uh, sent this home with Chris. He went up to visit her in West Virginia, and she sent this home with him. This is something that he gave her years and years and years ago. Look at that, it kind of, look at this. The top part pulls off and goes back on, and I've ordered myself some more blue taper candles. And uh, that, I'm gonna, I took my teddy bears down, my little bears that I had chalk painted, I took them down, and that piece, beautiful, heavy, Heavy as lead that piece is. It's one thing, if my candles come in, it's gonna go up here on top of the secretary. So, I love it. And then, here's where I put that little sign. I did stick it somewhere. A little kindness can put a burst of sunshine 
in someone's day. I put it there in that flower arrangement. So that's it, you guys, for now. <laughs> so I'll take one final picture of those vases once they get into place, and I'll show you that here at the end. But I'll close this one down, and as always, I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits. Hugs all around. So until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.